Hey, Jamie here with Hexhead Art. We build three-dimensional vintage style wall art, mainly made out of aluminum, 040, 050, and 080. And I um, want to talk to you a little bit about a machine that we got not too long ago last year to uh, a fiber laser that we got from MacTech and our Moxon Raptor. Talk to you a little bit about it and some of the functionality of the machine and why we got it. So we did have fiber lasers before this one, a little bit more rudimentary machines, but we really needed to step up our production. This Raptor really works great from a production standpoint. It is a little bit more expensive than some of the more rudimentary machines, but it's also a lot less expensive than some of the really big ones. So this one's just kind of in the middle. But as you can see that there are two tables on this machine that um, one table can be loaded and unloaded while the other table is cutting. So our old machine was only able to cut maybe between eight to 12 sheets a day. Now we're able to go 20 plus sheets a day with this particular machine. So that was the thinking behind it. One of the other things about this machine is that we're able to tailor it to our needs. Because we only cut pretty thin material here, we don't do anything super thick, we were actually able to get the micro cutting head um, which they put on this machine. So you do have some ways to be flexible to make it a little bit more friendly to, um, to what you do. So as you can see the footprint on this machine, it's not massive. We've got a 30,000 square foot facility here, but you can see this footprint might be taking up maybe a 40 by 20 footprint. And so that's a lot of production that you're getting out of that footprint. The uh, software that's used is Lantech. So um, Lantech software is very robust. It has a lot of functionality to it. It's essentially a CAD software that gets sent to the machine. Um, so it's not totally rudimentary to be able to learn how to use this machine. It's not crazy difficult either. What are you doing there, Deke? We got a tip touch. So whenever there's a tip touch, you have to reset it, bring it back, fix the tip touch, and then restart. Right, right, so to keep the machine from crashing, it's going to have different sensors in there when it touches down. If you have a part that flips up, the machine's gonna stop, you can fix that. So you have all of these little uh, micro cuts that keep the parts together to keep them from flipping up from from time to time they still will. That's just some part of the regular maintenance. As far as the maintenance of the machine, MacTech is really great. They keep all the parts that we need um, there at their uh, headquarters there. They can turn that around really quick. So the reality is that we haven't had a lot of problems with this machine. So I'm not really sure uh, too much. I'm just some very slight minor things that we've had, but MacTech's been really great about being on top of it. But just having a machine that operates peak performance all the time is huge for our business. And it's really changed the way we do things. Just from a production standpoint, it would probably take two or three other smaller machines to be able to hit the numbers that we hit with this one. So it's really been a big win for us. So check it out, our Moxon Fiber Mac Raptor. Call MacTech today. We'll get you some pricing together.